Hi everybody, I'm Kashpanikita and welcome on back to Resident Evil 3. So in the previous episode we had Carlos rescue Jill from the dreaded T-Virus and then she found the secret umbrella underground facility. So today here's hoping that I finish the game for you and I just went the complete wrong way because I'm clever. <laughs> anyway, so this is the underground not so secret umbrella laboratory. As you remember Jill now has a bit of an itchy arm from her infection. But we're hopefully going to find out what is going on. A shadowy figure emerges. But who? Who could it be? It's Nikolai. It's obviously Nikolai. Come on, who else would it be? Yeah. And I must he I respect your tenacity. I respect you. But I'm afraid our games end here. <sighs> you think this is over? Oh, these things. Hellheads. Yeah, they. They suck. Pretty sure you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Good. Get going up the left. That'll be the first piece. Pick up bullets and ammo and just general gear. Blood facility. But yeah, so for those who don't know, Hellheads, they were basically in the Resident Evil 2 remake. They're effectively this game's variant of Regenerator. Oh, I don't know, they just don't appear all that often, so I guess you kind of forget that the zombie dogs are an enemy in this game. They're nowhere near as often as they are in the older one. <coughs> anyway. I think it's just because most of this game is just zombies, like, there's no, like, interesting enemy designs, it's just zombies. Which is fine, apart from the fact that, mm, <laughs> take that off, it's just like, oh, oh, it's just more zombies, okay. And in the center corner, there's a zombie. It kind of loses the intimidation. I mean, Nemesis definitely keeps it fresh, but, you know, it's just more zombies. Like we haven't seen those before. I ain't precariously done at all. Mm, let's see what's. Yeah. I need to go this way. And on here. On here. Through here. Activate that. Slowly shambling toward me. This one's got a bullet there. Literally, both three said to say void was just running around with the knife. Just literally running for my life. So I got plenty of handgun bullets to spare. Second fuse. Make some more magnum ammo. 
keep that loaded. Back up the ladder. One here. And here. Pick that up. Wants to activate that, I guess. Mm. Doesn't really impact me. Just gotta keep going. Shot better, could have shot worse. You know what? I clogged up to be I'm alive, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Just keep running, never look back. Oh, yeah, I got some for you. Better. Is how we deal with hunters. <laughs> More ammo. I can never have enough in this game. Literally. And for here. For here. Put the box. Put that back. Put that back. Move that. Put that back. Put that back. Keep that. Keep the fuses, and that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Hmm. Actually, I'll put those back as well. I think I can spare a couple of rounds. Any nades? No, no grenades? Okay. Let's go. Let's put that on. Make a save. Just keep running. Mine rounds. You don't really need them all that much. Because you're supposed to use them all. So the fact that I've got any is just convenient. All dead. Yeah, I don't think so. Fix the box. And we're done. They should always got two mine rounds. And then the area is nice and clear. And that is how we do it. And <gasps> he's gone. Where did he go? You know, anywhere else. <laughs> His people needed him. He had to go. Mm, another box. Oh, it's the compensation cannon. You should put it on and the gun just gets bigger for some reason. Just compensating for the gun. Mm -hmm. Again, I'll just slowly go through those for you guys who want to read it. There you go. So you can read it, those. Anyone who's been reading the lore. strike if, and this is one big ass if, we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. We have no time to lose. Wee! Wee! We'll find the vaccine up ahead. No time to lose. All you can do is run. Nothing uh, good ever happens in a sure corridor. Stop? stop and do what? I got your back. All right, let's get this done. Sorry for the janky gameplay. I'm just having a cup of tea while I get to this point. This game is such good quality with the cutscenes. <sighs> Yeah, he 
definitely dead. Go! Go! Can you imagine when people get impaled by something in games and films, they tend to grasp it. It's almost like they're pulling it deeper into themselves. It's just like, I don't get that. If anything, I'd be trying to get it out of me as quick as possible. And she's alive. Somehow. The lab. The bit in every Resident Evil game that just happens because it has to. Never understood why there's always a lab. You know, they can't just have like, oh, they're just creepy weirdos. No, no, it's a lab. It's a science experiment. It's something else. You know, it's never just like, yeah, they're just weirdos. What picks are officially done with? First of all, put more magnum ammo in the magnum. Then put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Let's. I haven't used much of the shotgun this playthrough, so I've got plenty of ammo for it. Let's use the shotgun for a bit. Never hurts to have a healing item on you. Ah, oh, well, didn't mean to use that, but no skin off my bones. There, got the shotgun. Got the save. And then let's go mess up some zombies with the shotgun. Going up the stairs and going down the stairs and going up the stairs and going down the stairs. <laughs> it's a long hallway. Don't bother getting out. I got a shotgun, mate. You're not gonna win. But I. The shotgun's always like the best weapon to have in Resident Evil, it's just useful. You just consistently can take enemies down with it. Override key and successfully just generated. Check my phone and Why Facebook. Here? Override key removed. What have we here? You mean a flash drive? Uh, I guess they should not really know what it is, given that this meant to be like late nineties. So flash drives weren't really much of a thing. <laughs> a great gunpowder. That's great. Hey, look, a dead body. They look an actual dead body, rather than one pretending to be a dead body, because they do that a lot. Hmm. This one's glad I got a shotgun ammo. Means I don't ever have to worry about running out. Just keep running. <laughs> and downstairs. And along here. Use the flash drive. Override complete. Bye. Oh no, it's a pale head. Kneecap the fucker. And this is why shotguns. Don't move again up. Literally, when it comes to enemies in Resident Evil, I guess that bar is like, yeah, just, just don't get up. Just put you back in dirt. The Hey, look, a test tube. I might be able to use this to synthesize the vaccine. Uh, Again, the depressing reality that we have a vaccine, but there are going to be people who don't want to take it. It's just why. Ow, ow, ow. Get off. Yeah, just, just run at this point. Literally, like, there's pearl heads everywhere. Without a magnum, you're not going to be able to kill them. You just got to wound them. 
sure he's dead. way to permanently kill a pale head is just pop it with a magnum but the problem is like it's a magnum shell you'd rather have them for a boss or something and it's just safer it's not only safer it's a lot easier this must be what powers it right first of all deal with you dealt with got the health kit push in the big red tube Ush. There we go. Right, now we run. I'm not sure why that worked. Her DNA wouldn't be registered. Explosives. Mr. X. Mr. X is going to give it to you. And that's his brother, These Mr. Dex, Mr. Sex, Dr. Max, Captain Tex, and of course, Lex. Ugh, Lex. You definitely are the ugly one, aren't you? I mean, they're all pretty ugly, but Lex's head specifically, just... Ugh, God. What happened there? And then, of course, you've got the Hunters. You've got Harry, Harold, Horatio. Jesus. Yes, Jill. This is where they're made. You know, I, I would have thought the test tubes, but they got bits of them laying around. Master of unlocking. More like master of understatement. Mm, still got a fair amount of shotgun ammo. Just in case. Come on then, let's get to work, you lot. Do your worst. Sips. This is good. Yeah, that was kind of obvious you were gonna get up. Hey, look, more random tubes that she just takes, even though she has no idea what she needs them for. Just a bit more lore for you guys to read. So it's called the Nemesis. Yes, Jill, it's called the Nemesis. We we established that a fair while ago. I mean, his face was all over the marketing. Come on, keep up. Make some handgun bullets. I guess I could have made some more shotgun bullets, but yeah. Honestly, I've got enough to get me to where I need to get to. Plus, this is probably the last area that has all of the enemies in. Then it's just like a couple of boss fights. Just having flashbacks to this area on hardcore, that was, uh. It was a ride. <laughs> oh great, this is where they all pop out, isn't it? Yep, hello. Go away. All right, all right. Line up. Line up for a shotgunning. Three shells. All right, we're in the clear. Let's get the hell out of here. Given those two were supposed to go together. Make some more handgun bullets. And then just run. Just run to the exit. I mean, if I health gear, things get dicey, but I should be fine. Emphasis on the word should. I mean, I say that, but then I run face first until hell head not me yet. That doesn't mean me. Oh, I'll be fine. If it proceeds to do something incredibly stupid. That way. Use that. Keep running. Never stop running. <laughs> Resident Evil 101. Never, ever stop running. Ever. Alright. Use the magic science thing. Trace the materials in the chamber. 
either. Magical science thingy. Oh, right. Um, that one, I think. Yeah, mid high low. That was just complete guessing, by the way. That just shows how easy that puzzle is. I remember, like, in the older one, it was just, like, a lot of, uh, I don't know what to do, but with that one, it was just, I was able to guess it. That's how easy it is. Please remove the vaccine canister. Okay. Glowing pink goo. That is really dangerous, putting that knife that close to your neck. There's a good way of cutting your own neck. I mean, I understand you got the big tentacle thing strangling you, but still. Why is it always vents? <laughs> that butt shot, though. <laughs> that booty shot. That's what we were here for. That's what we had the whole game for, just to stare at Jill's ass. Oh, and here comes Mr. Tentacle again. Excited for Resident Evil 8. That's gonna be so good. <laughs> Alright, what we got? We've got high grade gunpowder, handgun bullets, more high grade gunpowder. This is great. Plenty of high grade gunpowder. Got grenade launch ammo, and that's it. That's fine. Uh, okay, I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to make some of that, put it with that, and then put it back. Because I'm going to want that in the next one more than anything else. That can go back as well. Can't forget the vaccine, the life-saving vaccine. As many grenades as I can physically carry. I mean, literally, just I want nothing but grenades in my in my inventory. It's ridiculous how useful they are in the bit coming up. Uh, I could also use that second health kit, maybe even a third, unless I can make some more launch ammo. Um, I'll save that slot for a minute. What I'll do, I will see if there's. Any God's name is this like place? grenade launch ammo or anything like that? I was like, yes, there's more grenade launch ammo. Okay, yeah. Nah, I'm just gonna want grenade launch ammo. But with a pair of health kits, I should be fine. I mean, believe me, the amount of grenade launch ammo I've got is ridiculous. <laughs> like I said, this is this is what proper prepping can do for you in Resident Evil. If you really manage your inventory, you can go into a pretty tough boss fight with more ammo than you're actually gonna need. Is it really worth having the one shotgun shell? Not really. But I could use the handgun just in case. Alright, let's go. Because then I've got everything I could probably need. And then let's put flame rounds on because they are useful. Actually, acid rounds, I'll use them up as I get them. <laughs> Here he is, the big boy. I do. Hmm. 
I don't think the wisdom I've been trying to impart on you is getting through. Now I know you can't put a price on life. But I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat dart. Put on a good show and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good! He is a good villain, but he is kind of a dick. Actually, there's no kind of a bad He is just plain and simply a dick. Okay then. I was gonna say, cue the big thematic music. It screams boss fight! Jill, is that you? Carlos? You're okay. Let me spot for you. Good idea. Just literally unload on him. That's all this boss fight is. is how much ammo have we been saving at this point? Literally got melted into goo. <laughs> Again, the RE engine just working wonders. Okay, I'll meet you up ahead. Beautiful and gross, and I love it. <laughs> Not having a good day, are you, Jill? Nikolai, where did you go? I have to get that vaccine back. Yep, that's a good idea. Wow, I barely used anything in that whole fight. Literally just used a couple of grenades. Just kind of shows that the grenade launcher is the way to go with this game. Gunpowder. Right, what have I got? Mm, basically, I only need the magnum. Let's have the... Let's have a hand gone on for show. No, not that one. That one, that one, that one, and that one. And then an extra health kick, no hearts with this game. Do a save. And then let's go. 
go kill Nemesis. It's done. Give me the vaccine, you greedy son of a bitch. No, 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 no. You print money. I, I like, like money. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun. Oh no, he became a big ball, a big wall of snot. I think that's the best way I can describe Nemesis' final form, just a big ball of snot. Very William have you, Birkin esque. Have you ever seen anything so incredible? The data on this would be worth millions. But, well, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> Good luck! Nikolai! What's his name? Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you, you do. don't even know what that thing is, but you say you've got this. Look, just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Just had enough of this thing at this point. I don't blame her. The night she's had. <sighs> Let's do it the old fashioned way with the big fuck off cannon. Now we're of all the guns in the world you can get, this is the big one. Fire! You charge him up. That ought to do it. There we go. All Ooh, power power sources sources back in. You think up. I don't know how to fuck you up? Railgun should be fully charged. Why they're keeping a big experimental railgun nearby? Or I guess for situations exactly like this, you know. Come on! Next time, take the fucking hit. This is where her iconic "You want stars, I'll give you stars" line would have worked better, rather than the earlier on usage. Good riddance. We have a world to save. Yeah, I went into that boss fight way too overprepared. I had grenade launcher ammo, I had magnum ammo, and it's just like, yeah, and no, I did not need it at all. Uh, oh yeah, you go along this trail. It's the viscera. It always gets a bit disorientating, but yeah, pretty dead. <laughs> That's how you kill the nemesis. 
now you run. You run far, you run fast. Get the video clips. Classic lab escape always happens at the end of every Resident Evil game. Me to reduce umbrella to drop. Ten minutes until missile ah, impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye, Miss Valentine. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. <laughs> Stag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here. I'll pay you whatever you want. You're a fool. You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective work. Finally over. So long, Marcy. I felt empty and cold as the heat from the blast washed over us. All this death wasn't caused by a monster making a virus. It was greed. Human grade. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. I would end them, once and for all. Uh, 
and that's the end of the walkthrough. Thank you guys so much for watching this series, I'm sorry it took so long to come out. Unfortunately we had a lot of tips and turns as I was doing parts, craves game corrupted. I have enjoyed very much doing this series for you guys, and I hope that I can do another one for you very soon. I'm either going to be starting The Last of Us or the Watch Dogs Legion series in the next couple of days, and then as I said I will be doing the Cyberpunk Let's Play once the game's a bit more stable. So I've been Cash Panukita, thank you so much for watching, and there's a B rank with one death. That's not bad. Thanks very much for watching guys, till next time.